Thank you for calling North Carolina Travel and Tourism. How may I help you? In my mind, I'm gone to Carolina. From all over the United States, the calls pour in every day. Thank you for calling North Carolina Travel and Tourism. Potential vacationers calling the North Carolina Tourism Hotline. How may I help you? And every caller is greeted by a friendly female voice. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, it's always female. Thank you. Bye-bye. Because there are no men in this women's prison. <laughs> That's right. Welcome to the Maximum Security North Carolina Correctional Institute for Women. How long have you been doing the call center? I've been here five and a half years. 48-year-old Teresa Culpepper has five children and a fifth grandchild on the way. She's been in prison since October 5th, 2000. I'm sorry. I'm remorseful, but I can't let it eat me up anymore. Teresa was convicted of killing her husband in a domestic dispute. That's P.O. Box 216. She got life without parole. Do you have a release date? Yes. Okay, and that is? 2015. 28-year-old Donna Blankenship, well, she won't tell us what her conviction is, and I decided not to press her. I'm learning more about North Carolina than I've ever known. Going from a county jail to a maximum security prison to working in this tiny room on prison grounds, I work six days. I'd work seven if I could. Well, it's a gift to these women. But being in the call center, you feel like you're still part of the free world. You feel like you still are important. When you go back to your dorm and stuff, you feel like you're an inmate again. It, yes, it's working. Prison warden Annie Harvey knows exactly why this oddball idea is working so well. And they do not um, violate or try to abuse that privilege because they appreciate the opportunity they've been given. We're grateful for what we have. In the world of prison, this room offers a chance to find a slice, however small, of some other normal world. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Gang. How is the prison food? Oh, sir, I would not say that on camera. <laughs> We're just human beings like everybody else. You're welcome, ma'am, and thank you for calling. Bye-bye.